everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Hey, your friend who knows a lot about screenwriting software. Uh, and that's one of the things I noticed over my 10 years of writing that I always tended to not want to write because I didn't know what type of software there out, was out there or I had a hard time using it. So that's why I created this channel to help you find good software that will make you write and answer any questions you have about the software. Today, after request, I'm gonna take a look at Campfire. Now, Campfire isn't something we just warm up with our hands. It's actually about publishing books, uh, it's about reading books. So it's a piece of software that helps you uh, working with books um, and also like a wiki as well too. Now the reason why I'm gonna review this one today is uh, a lot. I know a lot of screenwriters like to either take a look at their films and maybe turn them into books or they might wanna do a little bit more with this advent of new content creation that's gonna be coming out soon. A lot of user generated content will, resolve, will, will revolve around books as well as movies and so this is one avenue uh, to take a look at also it's just uh, another way to do some writing as well too and i wanted to talk to you about that so let's take a look at their website right now oh, experience storytelling in a new light we're giving books a glow up on campfire your new home for genre fiction that comes stacked with extra story content nestled in and curated uh, in an interactive book library um, and as you can sort of see uh, as you take a look at whatever the hot read is you can take a look at different things within the uh the book itself so it looks like you can sort of have like little extras to pop out so people can look at stuff your creativity campfire is not your average writing software draft and share your stories with exclusive notes or world lore using a writing app specifically designed to bring your story to life it's never been easier or more fun to reach the end of your book or end of your story self-publishing empowered publish directly on campfire and earn 80 percent royalties which is a lot you know amazon and um a lot of the other book publishers do take a lot of your royalties so this is actually a pretty high percentage um there's no exclusive restrictions or prep for publication to other platforms with manuscript reviews formatting and exporting books and bonus content step in the story campfire has made of several writing and world building modules for readers and writers to experience next level story detail with characters and cultures and maps and time frames so what I'm really getting out of this is I'm just reading through this right now with you is that it's more for fantasy and science fiction type of content. Um, though, like I said, I wonder if you could write, um, so if you, not just a fantasy or science fi fiction, but maybe a mystery type of place where there's uh, different mysteries involved in a particular type of world. Uh, so collectible content, set up bonuses, content like short stories, character profiles, and world lore to sell alongside your book. Unlock exclusives, collect add-ons as you progress through a book and build a personal guide to that story's world. Offline reading and writing. Write online with the desktop app or download your favorite reads on the reading app to pick up where you left off or wherever you go. And you can see that they've actually gotten uh, a lot of stories uh, on there right now. Uh, I remember looking at this earlier last week and this was up there, never ending end of the world. Uh, but it was, like I said, a lot of these things that you're seeing um, or more fantasy, science fiction related to uh, stuff like that as well. One of the things I noticed, I've had been to talk, people have talked to me about Campfire before. Uh, it's, it's been around since 2018, the Campfire community has collectively read, published, and, and written millions of words on Campfire. Each month we share their unique experiences in Campfire spotlights and exclusive interviews with industry creators. And then they also do a good job of sort of giving you hallmarks of um, Nathaniel Webb, writing about music and cozy uh, fantasy, spotlight, language, magic, and agency, and Lost Blades. Um, so you can see that there's been 300,000 happy campers, 200 plus million words written per year, so that's nice. 300 plus stories published on Campfire, um, and 360,000 stories created in 2023. So you can see a lot of stories have been created. Uh, not so much have been published, but still it's a good amount of volume for stuff to get published. And you can take a look at the team as well, too. Um, so, like I said, so that's sort of uh, some of the different things that you get to uh, see about Campfire. So let's take a look at their pricing real quick. Because I think that's important. So authors, tools. Um, so Campfire Write is a suite of interwoven tools that we call modules, which can help you plan, organize, and write your story. Modules can be purchased individually or can subscribe to all of them through our standard plan. Um, so it talks about how the free tier works. Um, so you get a lot of the same sort of stuff. Um, cloud savings, yes, yes, yes. Unlimited elements. Uh, limits vary on per module basis and edit any element. Nope. Uh, with the paid subscription, you do have that. 
Uh, you can subscribe either on a monthly or annual basis or only pay once and get unlimited access to our favorite modules forever. So let's take a look at uh, the standard plan. So for about 20 bucks a month, you can unlock unrestricted access to all campfire modules, including any new ones we create in the future or get 30% off by paying $160 annually. So it's not that expensive. Uh, when you think of it in terms of a subscription model, uh, if you take a look at some of the other uh, screenwriting things that are screenwriting software that you've seen out in the marketplace, it is a little on the spending side with $160 annually. Um, but again, this is also a little different in that it's it's a novel as you're publishing stuff. So you have the ability to make money back as well, too, uh, as part of this being in this community as well. So you get free to collaborate, free unlimited storage. Uh, here's the different modules that you can have. Uh, you can work on just the manuscript, write your stories with easy access to all notes, characters, create the characters and historical figures, timelines. You can see what the free versions get. You get 10 characters, um, 20 free events, maps, calendar, free articles. So you could have like sort of a wiki type of thing. So that's why I was sort of pointing this out to, to us as screenwriters. Um, and are just also uh, content creators that are going to be coming soon. Because like I said, once I think the industry has a lot of these AI sort of filmmaking things, you're going to see a lot more worlds pop up. And this would be a great place to sort of stretch out that world to sort of expand on your vision of stuff. Um, and so I think that would be really uh, nice to have. And this is why I just wanted to point that out. Uh, again, this is a lot of this is, is pictured at fantasy systems or so one free magic system, one free language. You have research, um, five free research elements, uh, locations, arcs, relationships, items, species, cultures, philosophies, religions. So it's really about helping you to shape that world that you have. Uh, so often in the movies and the uh, books that we have, those worlds aren't really shaped uh, are crafted well and this system really does a good job of sort of crafting everything for you helping you ask those hard questions to say okay so what's next what do I have to ref what? so that way when you have your world it's really in depth and engaging and stuff like that I went back up to look at the campfire modules and you can look for a lifetime um, let's compare all the different plans so if you look at all the different plans you can see that you feed you writing with the manuscript if you do a one-time purchase of $45. Um, so if you look at all this in itself, it is a little spendy. I'm going to do some math here real quick and show you how much, how much would it cost to get a lifetime purchase for all these different um, modules. So give me a second here. I'm going to figure out how much all these different modules would cost you if you bought them uh, all at one time. So if you did a one-time purchase of all of the different modules together, it would cost you about $420. So that's a lot for an initial investment in a piece of software. But if this is something you're gonna use for a long time, several years, four to five years, in essence, it's really not too bad. Again, I would trial it out for maybe a month or two to see if this is something you really like before you dive in and buy all the different uh, modules and stuff like that, or a one-year subscription is $160. Again, you could try it for a full year if you really like it, great. If not, um, you're only out $160. Or like I said, I would try the monthly plan out first just to even see if you like how to use it. So if you get the reading app, you can buy some of the books. And um, so you can build your digital library. You can get a, first, you get a free first chapter or full ebook or story extras, extra. Um, so the pricing here, so this is nice. So that way when you see a list price here, you know how much the author's royalty is. So if, if you see a price for $5.99, the author is actually getting $4.79. Mobile's a little higher, and that's because uh, our wonderful Apple and our, you know, the Google PlayStation take a cut. Um, and so that's why the price is higher for mobile than if you just get one off the regular store. But it's nice to see, you know, how much they charge and how much the author is getting. So you really are supporting the author when you're buying stuff off a of campfire, which I think is really uh, nice. So let's dive in how we're gonna use campfire today. So the first thing we do is once we created an account, uh, is it brings me to here, tell us uh, your backstory. So I'm gonna type in some of my stuff uh, to begin with. All right, so I just got done putting in my, oh, only let me go to there, okay. So we just hit next. Uh, what do you like to read? I pick at least one genre. So the interesting thing here is we can take a look at all the different genres that they have. Uh, they have military, paranormal, uh, nonfiction. Oh, they have a bunch of different things that you could write. 
medium short stories, web serial, uh, world, age group, adult. Um, uh, you can enable content warning. So let's see here. Uh, let's take a look at, I think let's we'll go with horror. I generally tend to like that. So then you can select at this particular point in time, you can select a profile picture. I'm not gonna put one in for right now. Uh, your author goes here. Uh, I create uh, videos about screen writing software. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I, I like dark mode better. Um, your story, start a new story. Let's start a new story because, and we can do this. All right, so tell us about your story or don't, names are hard. Uh, we can create a cover image. Uh, I'd probably go to Mid Journey to do something like that or Canva. Uh, I give your story a title. Uh, let's do the famous one that I do in most of my ones. We'll do test one, your story description. Uh, we are going to figure out how to use the software. Perfect. So there we go, finish. So the project has been created. We can view the, the project. It's got a nice tip sort of thing as we're coming in here. Uh, let's take a quick tour around learning with the Learn tab. Our blog and video library it contains writing advice, interviews, and plenty of tutorials. Uh, the Read tab is next. Here you can read books published by other Campfire users and unlock extras like character profile, short stories, and maps along the way. Uh, writing software, the Write tab is where the organize, plan, and write your project. Everything you, is backed up to the cloud servers and stays private unless you share it. All right. Uh, with each project, you will find several tools to create. Perfect. We call them modules. Create if all your writing and campfire are stored inside of projects, you can create one by clicking the button and will stay private unless you share it. All right. So we have our first project. Um, and so as we take a look at the main screen right now, uh, there's zero chapters. I have zero extras. I can open, I can publish, which would not be advisable because I don't have anything there. Uh, you can also take a look at right wherever you go, which is sort of the article below it. Um, recent post, um, so a navigation tutorial, a library tutorial. So it's really nice as, as, as you enter into learning how to write and stuff, um, you can go right into this particular thing here where, where again, you can have, you have helping sec sections here, uh, publishing tutorials, reading tutorials, writing tutorials, um, all those uh, good things right now. So if we open the project, okay, so let's, uh, so, your first project. So just look at the first step towards writing amazing stories. You've created a project. Let's take a look around, shall we? So let's go. So project runs on elements. So use elements to create files on your story characters, locations, manuscripts. Uh, try each type out in your project. The panels on your project home will update you as you add content to the project. Let's get started by creating our first element. Um, so if we go to characters, so you got a character. An element is just that, an element of your story. There are several types of elements you can create, such as characters, locations, manuscript, chapters, etc. So if we create a character, we can create a name. Uh, we'll Sir Clayton, uh, his country of origin. Um, so I wonder if they have an other, um, especially if he's not from around here. We'll do United States just because there we go. Uh, and then you can also panels or the background. And I'll let you I provide some suggestions, but you feel free to size, remove or delete. Give them a try. Okay, so here's the resizing sort of one. I, I'm assuming, right? Or is this resize? Let's see. Okay. So you can manage attributes. You can type in select any number of attributes below to add them to the attributes panel. So you can. Add as much or as little as you want. So I did a YouTube short about this a, a little while ago, talking about you know how much is too much. But then this gives you some a great information role, astrological sign. You can add as much or as little as, of stuff as you want, which is pretty nice. New York. There we go. And um, let's. That's how you delete an attribute, is just simply click here, that's deletes an attribute. Um, this, oh, okay. So that just moves the attribute around. So this little thing here will move the attribute back up and down to where I want to place it. Perfect, okay. So that's good. Create your own panels, click on the button to see all the different panel types that you can add. All right. If you're around a room, if you want to split information over several pages, we've got you covered. Click here to see all your pages or any new ones. Okay, so um, 
So again, you can take a look at the basic bio. You can type physical traits, images, statistics, links. So this is really nice in that as you're thinking of what you want for a new character, um, you know you have a lot of ability to add as much stuff as you want. It sort of reminds me of Script Studio. Uh, which I'll be doing a, a review on in a little bit. They do the same thing. They sort of really layer the character out. I think, uh, I wonder if a lot of times people don't have as much, as many three-dimensional characters because they don't know their character so well. And so this one does a really good job of allowing you to create um, images, physical traits, personality. It really gets you, lets you get to know your character. So let's go back to elements. Let's take a look at the manuscript and see how easy it is to write. So your navigator card is located in the manuscript sidebar. Search for an element to check your notes without ever leaving the page. So next tip. Um, let's see here. When you type an element name or from its attribute, it will automatically tag. Click on a tag to reveal the element in the reference card. The only bad thing about this is I wish it was over a little bit easier to read. Um, so find an element. So if we take a look at new character, view elements. Um, and then so you can write, you can see basic information, Clayton. So, okay, so that tells us some stuff about this. Uh, in terms of writing, the, again, this is more of a general writing program. It's not a screenwriting program, so you're not going to have the same type of, of nomenclature. I mean, you can't type, you can type interior um, day or, you know, interior room day. But then, you know, it's not gonna, you're not, it's not gonna default to the stuff like, you know, when you hit uh, tab, it's not gonna get you to like character and then going to action or going to dialogue or something like that. So, so just be mindful of that uh, as you look at that. So basically it's like a big word editor. Uh, so basically up here you have, you can have notes, you can take a look at notes, enter something in, you can take a look at your paragraphs, uh, you can. So you can change this to different types of font that you want to use, you know, this or that or whatever you want to use. You can change the uh, size of the font. Um, so basically it just acts as a, like a big word editor and stuff like that. And then when we're done with that, we can go back to write home. All right, so we just open our project again. Again, you can go through each of these different things. You can see there's a lot of different things that you can uh, add to your particular story. This is really good in terms of sort of helping you craft your story and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of different questions. And so if you're somebody who, who needs to sort of be walk through, um, and you don't have to use all these pieces either. That's one of the nice things about this. You can, you don't have to use these things. It, allow, it helps you walk you through the process of writing your novel. Or like I said, I'm thinking in terms of online content later on, it helps you create wiki entries. Uh, so if people want to learn more about your world, let's say they've watched one of your online shows and they want to know a little bit more, you can create an online encyclopedia for them to know more about each of the different characters. This would, this would be a great program to use for that. So let me know if you want some more details about Campfire Writing. It's a real interesting software program and one that I think, like I said, if you're working on a novel or if you're thinking of using it to sort of add on to your uh, online content to create extra articles or create extra features that people can buy, um, take a look at this. Uh, I think you'll, it seems to be priced pretty decently. I'll come out with a review later on about it, but for, 100, for 20 bucks a month to give it a try, you know, give it a try for a month. If you like it, great. And then you can upgrade to $160 for a year. Or if you want to buy the whole thing, it's less than $500. Uh, and you can use this for as long as you want. The nice thing again, you have some great royalties. So there's a lot of pluses with this. So what do you think? Would you give this a try? Let me know in the comment se section below. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.